you were already fairly accomplished. Now, because we're in the Kennedy Depends on how you define it. Well, by almost any normal standards, you were already very well known because you had already met Pablo Casals, who was many, many people consider the greatest cellist of the 20th century, at least the first half of the 20th century. How did you meet Pablo Casals, and what did he think of your playing as a young boy? Well, I think I, I was taken to play for him at, at age seven, and uh, um, I have him, you know, writing something in, in my. Um, autograph book, and um, I played for him, and he said, hmm, very good, and he says, but you should always also go play baseball, and which was very interesting because Casals, you know, at that time he was in his upper 80s probably, and one of the things I remember his saying, maybe in that autobiography or in an interview, he said, you know, I think of myself as a human being first, a musician second, and a cellist third. And I thought that was really interesting because, you know, what, where do we place our identity? For guys, often it's, you know, what do you do, right? right? What's your profession? And, uh, and, but the fact that, that he, you know, most people think of me as a cellist. And, but the human being part for Casals was the most important thing. And that was something I always thought about. And he recommended you to Leonard Bernstein for an event in Washington. There has come to us this year a young man aged seven bearing the name Yo-Yo Ma. Now here's a cultural image for you to ponder as you listen a seven-year-old Chinese cellist playing old French music for his new American compatriots. Welcome Yo-Yo Ma and Yu Cheng Ma. You performed at the age of seven in front of a live TV audience, but also President Kennedy was there. So what was that like, fairly intimidating? Well, we were newly arrived people, uh, immigrants. And um, so I, I think for a seven-year-old, uh, you know, did I know exactly who President Kennedy was? Probably not. Uh, did I know he was an incredibly important person? Yes. And uh, did I think about this for the rest of my life, about who this person was? Absolutely. 